This is the second half of the tutorial for Chapter 4, Section 3, Similar Figures, Part 2. And let's take a look at this one here. They're asking, find the value of x. And so what we look at for on this one is we know that the triangle GHI is similar to triangle JKL. And again, what we're looking for are corresponding sides. And so I can find out, I can say whether a triangle is, can, is similar two ways. I can either look at the angles and say that corresponding, if I have two angles they would uh, that are the same in both triangles, then we can use that angle angle postulate. But if I have similar corresponding sides, I already know they're similar, corresponding sides will end up being proportional. And so that's what we're going to end up doing is setting up a proportion. So the first thing I would do is look to see what we've got. Notice we've got J or GH. And so I'm going to write that one down. And I'm going to write down a fraction with the other side that I know, which is GI. So notice I know GI. And so I'm going to set up a proportion with the corresponding sides in the same location of the fraction. Just find out which ones are corresponding. It's not always that easy. Sometimes you can look at the triangles and figure it out, but you don't always go by that. Go by what the what their statement is for the triangles, how they name the triangles. So GH is, are the first two points of this triangle that they mentioned. So that means G corresponds, or GH corresponds to JK. So JK right here corresponds to GH. So I'm going to put the 20 right here. And actually, before I do that, I'm, I'm going to actually write down JK. And then if I look at the next one, it said GI. Well, GI are the, la are the first and the last points. And so that means that JL are the exact or corresponding sides. And so now I can go ahead and set up the problem. So I'm going to start with GH, which is 30. GI, which is X plus 6. And I set that equal to JK, which is 20. And JL, which is 30. So now I'm ready to go ahead and solve. Now before I just go ahead and start cross multiplying, I look to see if I can reduce the fraction. Now this one I wouldn't bother with because we have the expression here, but this one Real easy just to take out those zeros. That's dividing by 10. It's reducing the fraction. So now I'll go ahead and cross multiply. 3 times 30. And then I'm going to multiply the 2 times the x plus 6. Now notice that you've got to put the expression in parentheses and distribute that 2 over both terms. So my answer now, or my problem so far, is 90 equals 2x plus 12. And so now I'm ready to do some opposite operations to solve. I'll go ahead and take away the 12 from all sides. And so once I've done that, I'm now left with a 78 equals 2x. Well, I can go ahead and divide. So divide by the 2. And when I do that, I'm left with 39 equals x. Well, looking at the next one, same sort of thing. It's asking us to find the value of, of x, and so let's start with the sides. We know we know MO, and we also know MN. So let's write those down. Now let's see which side corresponds to MO. Well, look at what the triangle tells us, the naming of the triangle. MO is the first and the last point. That means it corresponds to PR. So I'll put PR on top, and then MO. Oh, I did MO already, so let's do the X, next one. MN. So MN are the first two points, so that means that corresponds to PQ. All right, so now we're ready to go ahead and substitute the numbers in there. So MO was the X minus 10. The MN was 30. And on the other side, the PR is 40. And the PQ is 50. Same sort of thing on the last on um, the last one. We're going to go ahead and do some reducing first. Cancel these that 10 out from each of the numbers in that right hand fraction and cross multiply. So we've got 5 times x minus 10, and we set that equal to the cross product of 30 times by 4. And so when I do that, I distribute the 5 over both numbers. 
5x minus 50. And then over here I multiply the 30 and the 4, I get 120 degrees. So I go ahead and add the 40, and not 120 degrees, just 120 would be fine to say. And when I add that 50, I'm left with 5x equals 170. And so now I'm going to divide. And I'll have my answer. So x equals, I'm left with 34. So that, those are examples of problems you'll see on tonight's homework. Good luck.